And speaking of something that has to be uh, banned and punished for is uh, tonight, uh, Donald Trump went um, on an interview, was a radio, radio interview um, with uh, somebody. And uh, Trump repeated his attack on Jewish Americans voting for Democrats. He then uh, agreed with the interviewer that Doug Emhoff, our, our second gentleman, the husband of Kamala Harris, is a crappy Jew and a horrible Jew. So um, speaking of crappy, can I read you what crappy is? Crappy is Donald Trump's failed record of losing 3 million jobs. Also crappy is his abortion man's, his lies, insults, hatred, chaos, and Project 2025 agenda that he is trying to denounce. Crappy is also his praise for dictators, his economic agenda to raise taxes on the middle class, his vow to cut Social Security and Medicare. By the way, today is the anniversary of Medicare and Medicaid. Um, his plan to repeal the Affordable Care Act, his call to terminate the Constitution, pretty crappy, isn't it? Um, his plan to defund law enforcement, his 34 felony convictions, I think it's pretty crappy too. His call to be a dictator on day one, he's telling families of gun violence to get over it. I think it's pretty, pretty, pretty crappy. And now let's talk about horrible, because he said horrible juice. So now what's horrible is... Donald Trump's long history of attacking Jewish Americans. Shall we recall? Trump has reportedly said Adolf Hitler did some good things. Trump denied at Mar-a-Lago with white nationalist Nick uh, Fuentes. Uh, Fuentes previously said uh, perfidious Jews uh, should be executed. Uh, Trump praised some of the neo-Nazi marchers in Charlottesville who chanted Jews will not replace us as very fine people. Pretty horrible. Trump during Rosh Hashanah attacked Jews who did not support him as wanting to destroy America. Trump shared an anti-Semitic meme suggesting his opponent was controlled by Jews and their money. Trump has repeatedly endorsed a racist anti-Semitic conspiracy theory pushed by neo-Nazis against Jews and immigrants. Think about those lasers. Trump engages in anti-Semitic tropes all the time. Trump shared video dreaming of a unified Reich break, 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 if he wins. Pretty horrible. Now, uh, the team Harris spokesperson, of course, issued a statement um, to Trump's appearance on the radio. She says, America is better than the fear, hate, and despicable insults of Donald Trump. Um, Vice President Harris believes Americans want a president who unites our country instead of dividing it, uses the power of presidency to help families instead of hurting them, and has a vision for our future instead of taking us back 